pro-Palestine protesters, that is, at Yale University are outraged by the school's investment in military weapon manufacturers. Hundreds of students have been camped out right at the school for several days now. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler is live at Yale University this morning with the latest. So, Olivia, what can you tell us? We know there's folks behind you there. Yeah, Nicole and Caitlin, in a statement from Yale, they say that pro-Palestinian students on Friday started an encampment on campus. There was about 24 tents that were put up, along with about 400 students. And as you mentioned, there is a group of pro-Palestinian students still in front of one of the buildings this morning. Now, the university says that these protests began on Friday. Students stationed themselves in tents outside the Schwarzman Center and Beinecke Plaza. The protest organizers are calling Occupy by Nikki books, not bombs. It's to advocate for Yale's divestment from military weapon manufacturers. Some students pledge to continue to occupy the plaza until the university cuts ties from military companies. As of late last night and into today, students are still holding their ground. According to protesters on Wednesday, Yale's Advisory Committee on Investor Responsibility released a statement said it would not recommend deinvestment to the Board of Trustees. And over the weekend, the university says one person was detained but not arrested. Now we are working to find out this morning if any students that are still gathered here will face any disciplinary action. I've also contacted Yale police to see if they have any plans to come here this morning. We're live this morning in New Haven, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.